Hey everybody, and welcome back to Ukulele. This is probably going to be the last video I record for the night, because I've been going for a while here. So, um, I discovered that we can't actually get this. The key to this is apparently, we were on the right track with this whole deal where we shine the light like this, but apparently we've got an ability coming up where we turn ourselves invisible or something, or like we use camouflage to turn ourselves invisible, which should reflect the light onto the cagey, where it's all frozen like that. So we can't do this quite yet, sadly. I know. So that means we're going to have to go back. Which is a bit of a bummer, I know, but oh well. Uh, let's just go ahead and go this way so we can avoid all the bad guys. We made it. Alright, cool. So, at this point, I think the only other thing we really have left to do here is explore that uh, area to the left there where the acid thing is. So let's head that way. At least our progress is saved here, so we don't really have to worry. Uh, wait a minute. How do we get through all this? Okay, good. We got platforms. Platform power! Don't know why I said it like that. But it sounded cool, so... Alright. Ooh, we need to remember to read these. Toxic Goo. <laughs> Supplied by Tim... Lug Berserk Robins, Waste Management. Your trash is our treasure. So where does this go? This looks familiar. Oh, it goes back up to the top of that. Okay. So that's where that path went. Because it was closed earlier, right? I still don't know what's up with this. Is this another case of having to reflect something... I think it might be, actually. So if that light's coming through there, maybe we need to reflect it off of the cube. Like, we stand over here with our invisibility ability later on. We reflect it here, and then it goes over there to the, where that pipe is. Probably worth checking out later on. For now, let's just go back. I think we've done most of the things we can do here now, so... Let's head back. That is a really weird angle. So, this area over here was where we fought the boss, right? And this area over here... I think we went here, right? This is where the arcade stuff was. Wait, no, I don't remember this. Oh, wait, this was below that area. Oh. Okay, there's definitely nothing to do here, then. All right, so this is just a room for reference to see that other room. Okay, that's kind of cool to see. Yeah, because the arcade machine was on, the like, the right fork of that left area, right? All right. Oh, no, it was in... It was on that fork over there, right? The right fork of the right area. All right, let me see what new tonic we've got from Vendi here. Let's see. We've got Hoarder, which now allows us to collect quills. That could be good, but I don't really see a need for it at the moment, so I'm just going to leave it be. Don't get me wrong, though. I really like that idea. Okay. We've done all we can do in the palace. And considering that we did the boss battle for this area, I'm going to assume that we can go unlock a new world. And I kind of want to... Uh oh Oh, wow. We actually survived. I'm actually kind of curious what, if we can do anything new over here now. Before I go back, I want to check this out. Can we do anything new in this area now? Or is it just the same... The same thing we've seen before? Because... Was this the area through this part here where we saw the dude without his hat and all that? Because that's where we did all the sleepy guys to wake this up. Or to wake them up. And then we came in here. Here's the events. We can do this for sure. Wait, why can't we go up further? There you go. 
Ah, here we are. There is more to it. Ooh, I wasn't expecting you in there. A monster in there? No, we got bombs. Let's throw bombs. Oh, this is why we get the bombs. We have this to open up. Lots of rooms. Ooh. No, I don't want to go in there yet. I just want to... There you go. Alright, let's say we... Oh, wait. These all have enemies in them. Well, maybe not all, but a lot of them do. Whoops. Hey, buddy. Come here. Alright. Can we go in these? Doesn't seem like it. There's something in there. Alright, I'm just going to go into each and every one of these just to make sure that we've gotten everything we can do here. Ooh, that one goes somewhere. Okay. Hey, it's a pagey in a cagey. And a hot tub. Aw. No more bubbles. That's not cool. Alright, Tubbs. You seem like a nice guy. So, we need to get that pagey, too. How do we do this? Uh, looks like this goes somewhere. Do we have to go do something in another room, I'm assuming? That makes sense, right? Let's just come back. I'm, I'm assuming we have to use one of the other passageways we uncovered. Let's see what's through here. Nothing through there? Nothing? Signage by, what does that say? Signage by the David Sim Fitting Company. Never get lost again. Well, thanks. You've been super helpful. Doesn't look like there's really anything in these rooms. Huh. I don't really know what there is that we can do about this. Can we take a bomb in there and blow bubbles by depositing a bomb? That makes, like, zero sense, but you never know with this game, right? Aww. Wait, these stars on the wall. Are these important somehow? Wait, 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 wait. The underwater bubble ability. Does that come in handy here at all? Uh... I just wonder if we just need to hold a bubble for a while and something will happen. Wait, steam is coming out. I think something's happening as we're doing that. Okay, there we go. There we go. Let's just hold the bubble. Come on. There we go. Is that doing something? No? Yeah, I thought that might do something. He said he had problems with bubbles, right? Do you just swim around, maybe spread the bubble love? I don't get it. I'm just wondering if there's like a water displacement kind of thing going on here with this, but it doesn't seem like it. 
So I go all the way down, which is not far. I'm just wondering if there's like a an ideal size for this thing, if you can control the size. There we go. There we go. <laughs> well, Trouser warned us about that, I guess. Yay! It's a strange puzzle, but at least it makes use of the new ability we found. Cool! Alright. Oh no, not more of you guys. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and leave. Bye! Not gonna miss ya. It's been not fun. Okay. At least now we know that there's more of a purpose to that area than we thought originally. Fear is worth checking since we unlocked all those vents and everything. Alright, so now... Oh wait, we go down here, don't we? Okay, I think we've gotten a lot of uh, pages in this world, so... Hopefully, we don't really have a whole lot left. I don't really know how many, though. I'm guessing there probably is quite a bit left. But I think for now, I'm just going to go ahead and move on. Because I'm assuming... I, I realized in between videos that we did have a trigger for opening up the next world in the form of that cutscene where... Uh, what's his name? Um, Dr. Quack is talking with capital B, and that's when uh, he gets sent off to uh, distract us with a quiz and all that. So, hopefully, I'm hoping what that means is that when we beat a boss, we get a cutscene when we get back to uh, Hivory Towers. So, let's see if that happens here. Alright. Hopefully this means a temporary goodbye to Gwitter Glaze Glacier and a hello to another world. I noticed we didn't find a booster for the, uh, what you call it, the, um, the energy. So I'm wondering if that's going to be something we discover later on. Hopefully it will be. Doesn't seem like we have anything here. I wonder if that boss that we defeated is like the real boss, or if maybe there's another one that we have to beat. Alright, well either way, I'm going to look around just to see what there is to do. Still not really keen on facing off against robot dudes here again. And this was the way up to that one pagey that was like... Oh, wait a minute, there's another passage here. Hey, wait a second. Oh, wait, we saw this earlier, right? This is like the pathway from what's presumably the next area. Alright, well, that didn't really help us much, did it? Get out of my face. Alright. Do we just need to go back down to the main floor? Is that what's... Is that what we need to do? <laughs> I want to say this game added in in a patch the ability to turn off the voices since they don't really add any sort of like actual dialogue. They're just incomprehensible. I actually kind of like them. They kind of have a certain charm to them, for me at least. Alright, I'm gonna... You know what? What happens if we go back through here where the quiz time thing was? Does something happen? I'm really curious. Wait a minute, what's that area up here? Have we been up there? So I can, like, jump off of this thing. So that's technically a thing I can stand on. There we go. 
So what's in there? Just a butterfly. Okay. Man, that would be cool if there was a Pagey right there. Oh man, that would be so sweet if you could do that. Alright, I'm going to go in here. I know we went in here before, but it just seems strange that there's nothing else to do here but get the trouser move. Like, I feel like there should be a secret or something in here that leads to another area, or maybe at least a pagey in here, right? I mean, here's trouser standing underneath the arrow sign, I guess. I find it funny that we can see those, uh, these guys over here through these glass walls. And it seems like there's butterflies to get in there even, so... P, B... What does that say? Pi? No. P? P, B? Okay, I don't think that has any meaning, unless it's someone's initials or something. That door doesn't do anything. Wait, there's a switch over there in that one. Okay, we are definitely checking this out. There's there's a secret here. Jetpacks and butlers. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, if I go down here... Can I... Okay, I can swim across. It is possible. No, no, I just want to... There we go. Aha! Okay. I am very glad we came back here. That was... There we go. Need to get out. I like this idea of um, creating bubbles for yourself underwater. It's very nifty. Okay. Let's see. What did capital B hide over here? Uh... This is where we came from, right? Wait a minute. Did we totally miss... the secret passage here? Because that's the entrance. And the door that we opened up was over here, right? This was what we walked through, wasn't it? No, okay. So we walked we walked the wrong way. Whoa, what is this? Waterworks. I don't like that sound. That sounds like the jellyfish of doom. Whoa, this is really murky stuff. What's through here? Is this like the way forward? This is so expansive. I just love how expansive this is. It's crazy. Okay, and... Wait, I can create a bubble. Uh, bubble... Bubble, bubble... Shift, there we go. There we go. Does this go back to the beginning? It does! We're back here now. Okay, cool. Well, at least we know where this dumps out to, because we saw this earlier. <laughs> That's really clever. It's a nice way to kind of circumvent the normal frustrations of navigating water in 3D platformers. Because honestly, that's one of the things I didn't like about like some of the 3D Mario games was all the underwater stuff. Like, don't get me wrong, I love 3D Mario a lot. Like, that's some good stuff right there. But the water sections can be really 
I don't know, off-putting sometimes, I guess. Let's just sink down here and see what we got. Ooh, we've got a button and a pagey. Oh, we can get damaged even inside the bubble. Well, that's not nice. Okay. Okay, chase us. Chase us. Come on, come over here. Okay, come on. Get up. There you go. So how am I going to defeat you guys? Is there a way I can, like, punch you guys with the inside the bubble? Because that would be super cool if that... That would be super amazing if I could do that. Or do I break the bubble by doing that? No, I can do it here. But I can't seem to get these guys. What gives? Oh. No, no, no. There we go. Oh, no, no. This way. This way. Yay! Take that, squid thing, jellyfishy things. Are there more of them now? There's only two still. Can I just get my pagey in peace, guys? Seriously? I want my pagey. Stop! Oh, for crying out loud. How do you defeat those guys? Do they respond to sonar? I'm still trying to understand how these controls work for the bubbles, like... Okay, there we go. I was holding control down, which was the problem. Okay, I think this is it, because there's a thing here. Well, I don't care about what the market thinks, so that's fine. Feel free to continue belittling our work. Where is... Where is this? I need to get up above water. There we go. I need to get that pagey. Where is that pagey? Preferably without getting killed. That would be amazing. Come on. No, no, no. Okay. Yeah, just hang out there while I go over here. No, no, no. Yay! Get out of here, get out of here. Get out, get out, get out. Yay! Okay, good. Is that a robot thing? Or Wait, no, can I lick that? What is that? It looks interesting. I also want to know like what exactly there is to do here besides the pages. Huh, I wonder what this is exactly. Hmm. 
And I want to get it to higher ground if I can. That would be nice. Is there anything else besides the lily pads that could help with that? There's this thing here in the middle, but I can't seem to get on top of this. There's a very weird green area here. It kind of reminds me of... You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of the sewer zone from the F Frogger 3D game. Which I also all peed on this channel, by the way. I think that has less to do with demand and more with you. Does this have a switch down here? Oh, I can go through. Haha. -ha. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Mayday, 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 get out, get out. Escape. Okay. Whoa! What was that? I didn't even see what that was that I hit. That was... Okay, I'm confused. Was that the area... Yeah, that was the, the area that led back to the, the first area. Okay. So we were over here by that green area, right? It was not this green area. It was over here. And then we found... Yeah, this gate thing. Okay, here we go. And then it led to, like, a jack-o'-lantern area or something. What in the world? Are these enemies? The jack-o'-lanterns? I wonder if there's, like, a Halloween world or something in this game. That seemed to be a staple of a lot of 90s games. There was always, like, a haunted world or a Halloween world or something like that. Okay, here's the stuff that hurt us. So this stuff is... Weird plants or something. I've decided I found I, I know what that sound is that we're hearing from the weird jellyfish. It sounds like an evil Pac-Man noise. Like waka 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 waka. I still don't know exactly what the point of this area is or what the jack-o'-lanterns are all about. They seem to be shining light inside the bubble. Like, what is the point of these dudes? Like, would the light harm us if we were exposed, I guess? Like, I don't want to experiment with that, so... Okay, obviously the goal is, like, up here. There is a reason why we can go... This, to this area in general. There's a bunch of butterflies. Ah, here we go. Okay, so there's a bunch of steps here. Cool. Uh-oh. Oh, hey. A new book world. We found it. Moody Maze Marsh. All right. Yes, I would like to unlock Moody Maze Marsh. That sounds awesome. So this must be like the scary world or something. Alright, I think we've got enough for that. <laughs> okay, let's go back. Let's just stay off the switch for now. Alright, well Moody definitely seems to be the theme of the, the hour here. Can I lick that thing up there? Huh, there's also a pagey over there. Uh... Wait, what? We have to go to battle against this guy? <laughs> okay, that was kind of funny. <laughs> so we just have to chase this dude all over the place. Is that the, the thing here? 
origami. That's not a form of combat. Where'd you go? There you are. It's a chase, Pagey. Again, kind of like the bunnies from Mario 64. Okay, stop. It's okay. We're friends. No! We almost had him! Come on. Get over here. Get over here. Where are you? Sorry if this is very dizzying, by the way. Come on. Come back! Is there like a pattern that this guy is continually following? Because I feel like there kind of is here. Like he's only sticking to this area. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was a really erratic way of moving around. Oh, come on. We are getting so close here. Is he just going to stay put if we if we say put? Let's try this. Okay, it looks like it. Come back, Pagey. Where are you? There you are. Ah. Come back. Come to Papa. Oh, if we had just like gone straight, we could have gotten that. This is not really that hard. It's just a matter of not being too erratic, as usual. Ah! <laughs> I still find that comment one of the funniest. The explosive security guards. All the corporation parodying here in this game is just so amazing. This is an interesting... There we go. Pagey Rampagey. Crazy Kirk Hope, huh? It's okay, Crazy Kirk Hope. I'll remember you. Don't worry, I remember. Alright, go through here. Do this again. At least we took care of that. Maybe now we can expand the Grand Tome. Come on, get out of there. Don't go into the plant, but definitely get out of there. The music definitely matches... Uh, what I'm presuming is going to be the mood of the next world. Alright, can we stand on the switch again? Yes! Okay, good. We will expand it. Alright! Perfect. I'm also noticing there's a path that goes up over there. But I don't know if I want to try that out right now. It, it gives us something to look forward to when we get back, right? Let's go into Moody Maze Marsh, and next time we will explore it and see what happens. Um, I'm probably not going to be recording for a little while because I'm about to go out of town, but I've got a nice stream of videos for you guys, so... You'll still have some great content here. I'm probably actually going to be back from out of town by the time this particular one uploads. But just to let you know, at the time of this recording, I don't really have anything else um, that I'm planning to record until I get back. So that'll probably be a week from now. Wow, this place looks pretty cool. Lizard use PVs. Amazing. Ooh, is this a, like a literal maze? Whoa. Okay, there's definitely a lot of stuff here. Wow, okay. Woo, okay. There is a lot to see in this world, guys. 
and we will check it out next time. So until then, thank you all so much for watching, and I will catch you on the flip side. So take care and see you next time.